may seem like just a front end damage job. Customer brought this car in claiming that it's pulling real hard and chewing tires up so upon further investigation I pulled the body panel off and uh, we can see that this car has been in a collision and was sold to my customer with a regular title that was not salvaged and we're finding further damage up into the strut tower area which is throwing the alignment completely off on the car I've also found a bent control arm lower control arm a ball joint that was a replacement ball joint that was just barely hanging on because it was one of the bolt-on jobs that they didn't torque when I started taking the panel off of the car I found all the screws on this front windshield cowling to be gone um, the only reason I'm posting this is uh, beware what you're buying I'll take a look at it because you can you can definitely see on this car where somebody has taken some time to make it look as good as possible and I will say it's a good looking car it's got a fresh paint job on it and it runs fairly decent but there's several hundred dollars worth of hidden damage that you couldn't see unless you had a trained eye all of this stuff's been broken loose just kinda was zip tied up there so nobody would notice anything different and this come from a local towing company who apparently got it off the road dead and put some time into it um, and sold it so be careful of what you're buying used because you never know what you're going to wind up with once you start taking panels off of it and realizing that some jockey decided he was going to uh, make a few bucks so otherwise the rest of this car is in beautiful shape it runs great but it's problem as you can see by the tires here zoom in there it's chewing tires up like you wouldn't believe but if I could get you under there which I might later we'll pull that control arm loose and you can see the damage there we're gonna have to replace the control arm the strut uh, hopefully we can realign that strut tower a little bit in there so that the camber is not completely out and see if we can make this baby go down the road straight again now this wasn't an expensive car it was a fifteen hundred dollar car but for a 92 Buick Century that's kind of steep um, and you know looking at it it really looked like a good car so beware what you're buying ask those questions and uh, really get in and take a good look around because uh, this is what happens when you buy something off of a fly-by-night dealership or wrecking company.